Hello my lovely sewing friends. I try not to wear my glasses doing this but when I want to read and um, and look at things in detail I'm all over the place so um, I put my smaller ones on today but there you go. So anyway thank you to all of those who um, commented on my last video and thank you to such positive um, reception from me uh, getting my app together and coming back again. Um, I like to think I serve the sewing public who are a little bit more mature, who are not necessarily into high fast sewing and perhaps um, not always the shape that's best represented out there in the same community. Many, many of the people who follow me have, like me, been sewing for many, many years and are so pleased of this resurgence in all things handmade. Um, but I, I do feel this sometimes when I scroll through Instagram and I look at Facebook and then I go online and I just ask myself the question, where am I? What's my, uh, what's my tribe, if you like, if it's, um, say it is the same. And it seems that I've hit upon my tribe and I'm really, really grateful for that. And I'm grateful for the women who follow me and who um, hopefully will continue to do so. I'm supposed to say, uh, give me a like, and if you haven't followed me, then please subscribe and so on and so forth. So anyway, I'm going to get into what I'm wearing today. Now, I'm just lower the camera a little bit. This, as you can see, and maybe even recognise, I'm going to tilt you forward, okay, is the Marlow, yeah, in the crop version, although on me it's at my waist. Now then, some of you may have heard me say the Marlow's not for me. I made it once, it was huge and I couldn't face doing anything with it. However, I had a change of heart and um, got the pattern out again. Change of heart mainly because I saw this absolutely gorgeous knit on La Marzi and matching ribbon. So I thought that is perfect for um, a project like this because the thing with the Marlowe is yes you can make it in sweatshirting you can make it in um, any type of knit but I just felt that this was made for this purpose so any of you who haven't seen it there we are the Marlowe cardigan and it is made by True Bias so Last time, when I read through the measurements, as you do, to try to size me, the first page it says, um, I don't know whether you can see that there, this is an oversized sweater with drop shoulder, deep v-neck and wide bands and button, large buttons. And I do like the button part of it because I think it gives it, um, well, it, it, it just lifts it a little bit. Um, so yes, I was, I was hoping that I could find the right buttons for this. But again, deep in my stash, they were there waiting for me. So it says the main sweater can be sewn up in stretch or non-stretch fabric. So that's worth bearing in mind. So if you are going to use a um, sweatshirting or even a fleece, polar fleece, there is hardly any stretch in those 
uh, fabric so you have to I guess consider that when you're making your your cardigan um, you can use the same fabric for the um, the bands but I chose to use some uh, ribbing anyway so initially when I looked at this pattern I put myself as I normally do 14 to 16 and I thought oh yeah oversize finish measurement 48 so I thought oh I'm gonna go for the 14 and then I can always um, like steer a little bit on the size of giving it a deeper seam allowance etc anyway when I finished it it honestly was huge I didn't like it I couldn't uh, bring myself to uh, redo it sorry I just thought I wasn't I wasn't filming then but I am okay um, so as I said saw this fabric thought that's perfect ordered it and then I was determined to make this work and I, and I think I have and I really do like this cardigan now so I went down to a size 10 yeah size 10 now then in my book that tells me um, that the finished measurement should be 45 inches this is not it's more than that and if I stand up uh, although I've not got a huge bust you can see it's roomy it's absolutely roomy but to me this is oversized and to me I'm quite happy the sleeves are perfect I run I can bring them down a bit so this for me was exactly what I wanted. Now, look at those buttons. These are mother of pearl. Don't ask me where I got them from, but these are huge. And I thought they were spot on for what I wanted. I hate doing um, buttonholes on knit fabric but I don't think they're that bad actually because what I did was I put some medium weight stretch interfacing at the back and before I um, chop them with my buttonhole chopper I put quite a lot on the back of the buttonhole of seam fray and let it dry so it dried hard and then I got my little hammer. Wait a minute, I'll show you my hammer. Hammer. And chisel. Look, this was perfect. Um, I, I do have to hide this because my husband, if he sees any tools that I've got, he puts them straight away in his own toolbox but this is how I do my uh, buttonholes so I've got some coasters some old coasters that I pop down on a firm surface usually um, down in the kitchen and I give it a good whack and it's beautiful perfect and I think from what you can see they don't look too bad at all so anyway so what do I think I think um, I'll make it again now I might go for the slightly longer version I'm not going to hurry to make it because I don't really need another cardigan um, but I needed this cardigan um, a because I wanted it short but chunky B because I wanted to master this pattern because I do like true bias patterns and um, I don't like them to beat me if I'm really honest so 
I don't know what you think, but um, I think this is a great success. Now, while I'm on the subject of cardigans, because to be honest, I've made a few other things and they are pretty and they are nice, but I just don't feel in the mood for them because of the weather. So I thought I'll give you um, a little rundown on two other patterns that I've had for years. And um, the first one is a butterick pattern. If you can see that. So it's Butterick 6258 and it's I think a high value pattern you've got all knits in this um, some it says with stretch to moderate and some it advises um, a greater proportion of stretch but you've got like an over coatigan you've got a sweater or um, a jersey top you've got a dress you've got a skirt and also you've got some pull-on trousers so it's really really good value and i think i've had this i might have got it free even with one of the uh, magazines years and years ago i don't know if this is still in stock but you might find it somewhere so what I have made, I have made uh, the trousers in this one quite a long time ago in some navy scuba and I wear those a lot, particularly uh, if I'm just staying in the house. But I've made this coat again six times now and I tend to make a new one uh, when Andrea brings out the cable knit on the website it takes one and a half meters so that is good value and um, as you can see i always put a little patch pocket on the pattern doesn't call for that but i like that put my bits and bobs in there it's a um, long collar that goes all the way down this measures past my knee and um, I've got the banding folds on itself so it folds over on itself the sleeves I just hem and what was brilliant this time was I could buy Mariflex so I didn't have to lug my um my baby lot to its change of stitch to cover stitch just for that and for the hemline too i think this is called jade um uh, you can find cable knit anywhere and everywhere now and i also know pan fabric sells an awful lot of this stuff it's perfect you know and I actually will wear this through the year I've got two I've got um, a pumpkin one that I bought the year before and like a nude colour that I had bought for me um, which was so kind of Suki who also is one of Andrea's pink ladies so this this pattern has been in my life for a long time and it will continue to be um, to be made now I must tell you the pattern I've got is extra small up to medium and they're a bit kind of loose on measures but it says the final um, bust measurement is 40 inches well I know for me that's okay um, but you just need to check that don't be put off because you can always add seam allowance onto it if you think um, that pattern might just be um, a bit shy of what you want. But um, remember, there's no buttons or fastenings on it, so you are going to wear it undone. 
So this is always um, an annual make for me and um, I've already got some more cable knit. I think that's in a burgundy colour so I might well make that up for the autumn. Now my last um, my last ca uh, cardigan I guess, called, I'll call them cardigans, I want to share with you is a McCall's pattern. Now in January um, Emma who runs the fabric boutique in Ashby, sorry I'll sit down a minute, my knee's hurting, um, who has that lovely shop at Ashby in the high street called the fabric boutique. She was having a first birthday event and I know a lot of you um, who were on YouTube saw other people that went there but sadly that happened to coincide with my husband being in hospital so I couldn't go but I have made an outfit for it I'd made a dress but I'd, I made this cardigan to go with it um, so I'm going to show you the pattern first so this is McCall's again another multi-pack pattern and it's McCall's 7331 and I've had this pattern even longer than the other pattern and uh, it's a Nancy Zeman um, and she does some good and I think uh, wearable patterns this has again four garments all knit and it does advise um, different types of knit fabric for which garment you're making. Um, I measured myself up against the size 16. Sadly McCall's as you know a lot of the patterns there's no finished measurements on the outside of the pattern and you have to go inside, cut the part out that you're, you're going to sew. And then, yeah, anyway, um, so I know that I actually did cut a size 16, but I just narrowed, um, narrowed the shoulders because I, I've got a narrow shoulder and a hollow neck, upper, upper chest. So you've got a swing cardigan, this is, um, and I'll try this one on because you'll see, a sweater, a pull-on skirt which is really nice and the, the nice thing about the skirt and the trousers, they've got a deep waistband so they're, um, they're particularly nice to wear I think, particularly if you've got a bit of a tummy and you want some uh, support. So I can re recommend that. And I've made the skirt and the sweater and this swing cardigan. The first time I made the cardigan, which, as I said, was for this party event. So let me just slip it on and show you. I bought all the fabric from Fabric Boutique because I wanted... To have something that reflected Emma's choice of fabrics. Very simple pattern again but as you can see, I'm going to pull you down, this is kind of a, an acrylic knit, absolutely gorgeous colour. Really, It's almost fuchsia, you know you get that purpley pink and as you can see there, you've got a swing kind of cut only to the front. The back is lovely in shape. And because I did the shoulders in the 14, it just stops it from ru running off uh, the end of my shoulders there. Um, what can I say? Uh, well, I didn't get to wear it on that day, but I've been back in and I did I did wear both 
and of course um, I am chuffed to bits with it I love this is just a bit more I would wear this like um, as I would today um, but I'd wear this as well for going out it's just that little bit warmer I don't think I'll wear it in the summer a lot but certainly spring and the rest of the year apart from high summer this is going to um, going to be a great a great piece for my wardrobe so I think that's that's all I want to say today uh, I, it wasn't as kind of dynamic and as um, you know new pattern new dress lots of flowers because you know me full of flowers but um, more of a gentle video today more what I call ruminative um, I am thinking of some ideas to um, to share with you I'm, I'm making some underwear later on today I haven't done that for ages too so I thought I'd give that a go um, I've got the Nepheline top almost ready to start stitching and I've just made some very basic things that I think are useful for for me and those are the things I wanted to get out of the way so I'm going to say uh, goodbye to you I'm going to ask you to be kind not just to everyone else but to yourself and please please like if this is something that you want to see again and um, to all my lovely sewing friends out there I'll be back soon. God bless.